Nestle is the world's leading nutrition, health and wellness company and it was founded in 1866. Exactly, that's a long time ago. As far as coffee is concerned, I'll talk about their brands in a minute. But remember, this is a global food group with a headquarters in Switzerland, but with manufacturing facilities across the world and it's certainly a big player in markets from Nigeria to Vietnam and everything else and in between. It is big in bottled water with brands like Evian and Perrier. It's huge in confectionery, although that's a declining area. Massive in pet food, which is an interesting area. And it's got quite a significant number of brands that operate in that sort of health and wellness space. They've got a big stake in L'Oreal. As far as coffee is concerned, though. Nescafe and Rick Coffee and Nespresso. Okay, so Nespresso, of course, are the capsules. And everybody knows how that thing has been growing with George Clooney behind it. Nescafe is made from coffee. Rick Coffee, on the other hand, is a brand that is really only strong in this market, which is not made from coffee at all. It's made from some kind of combination of roasted chicory, which is some sort of vegetable that grows somewhere or other, with all sorts of flavorants. But it is a massive, massive seller in the sub-Saharan market. We're looking here at a market cap of 251.6 billion US dollars, a PE of 22, dividend yield of 3.1 percent. Yeah, so look, this is one of the foremost global food mega corporations. Uh, as I said, they've been around a hell of a long time. It's got the financial muscle to get into different spaces. But I really do think the combination of coffee and bottled water is the future of the company. Okay, the pet food and all let's that stuff can stay in there as well. Go back to the performance there, because the, the share price was up. Just right, so let's see. This is, happening. in fact, what we're looking at here is the share code NSRGY, which is where it trades on the New York market. And we own them for clients. I own some of these in my New York account. And you can see there it's done fine over the last five years. It's crept slowly upwards from yeah, around slowly 14. Slowly being the operative word. Yeah. That, that's not anything that shot the lights Look, off. Look, it's a little bit of a leviathan. At $250 billion, it's one of the world's largest companies. You know, Apple, we know, is much higher and at $700 billion. So it's kind of in that ballpark, though, much bigger than Billiton, much bigger than British American Tobacco. Recently, it had a bit of a wobble, although you can't even really see it on the chart with that Swiss devaluation thing. Remember the Swiss currency and the peg being lifted? But it hasn't really had a good long-term effect, which is as you'd expect, because it doesn't manufacture everything in Switzerland and then send it around the world. It, you know, here in South Africa, well, all of that Rick coffee is made here. Coming back to the coffee theme, you mentioned the Rick coffee, this Nespresso. Do you think that that is transformational for the stock as an investment? Look, uh, not for everybody or everything. I think everybody understands that if you're talking about the home, uh, you can have an espresso machine and the capsules, which cost about seven and a bit rands each. You know, it's an expensive cup of coffee. But what is observed in markets like South Africa and the rest of the world is that uh, people are upselling themselves. So that's not the right term, upgrading. There's sort of a premiumization thing happening. In the coffee space. So a lot of people drink Rick coffee, but if they have a little bit more disposable income, they start drinking Nescafe, which is a sort of a premium product within the coffee environment, but it's still an instant freeze-dried coffee grain type of product. But then the sort of elite wealthy people would start going to, to boutique coffees boutique and coffees. cappuccinos and so on and using the Nespresso machine. But understand Nespresso has just gone off patent. So there are other people starting to make the capsules, but they still make them by far better than anyone else. And it does produce the best You've obviously, the you've obviously got an Nespresso machine. Yeah, we've got one at the office and at home. But then we like to support our companies that we invest in. So it's uh, only a natural move. Should I even ask you whether you're hot on Nestle or not? Look, it's an interesting one because I think it's a good global staple to be in. I don't think it's Nestle going to shoot the lights out. But it's really got great upside in all of the emerging markets to take those products that are a part of its brand portfolio and to expand them into those markets. So we definitely think it's the kind of stock you ought to have in your portfolio because food and premium branded foodstuffs are a big global investable theme for the future. Hot. Good. Hot.